Good evening, friends. How are you? So today I'm going to show you how you can install a Node.js framework called Nest.js. Nest.js is a very popular framework and we are going to install it on AWS. So let's get started. Uh, the very first thing is what is Nest.js? Nest.js, if you go here, it's a very modern framework for uh, Node and uh, we have used in a couple of our projects and it's very fast to develop. It supports ORM and also uh, different kind of more modern features like middleware, etc. So um, to, to set up this uh, Nest.js in AWS, at first, we are going to create a new EC2 instance, and then we are going to uh, install Node version 14, and then use we will use uh, install the net Node.js via npm, Nest.js via npm. So let's get started. Let's create launch instance. Let's try the new layout here. The new layout is, looks good. Uh, it's very friendly, one page. You don't have to go to three or four pages and all the options are available in one page. So um, let's give it a name, Nest.js. Amazon Linux 2, T2 Micro, free tier, all this is fine. I'm going to select a QPL name here. I'm going to select HTTP and HTTPS. That's fine. Advance. Let's choose an IAM profile. This is required because I'm going to connect to that instance using uh, Systems Manager. Termination protection enable. So this will avoid deleting the instance by accident. So let's get started. Okay, uh, let's see. The instance is going to be launched soon. Yeah, it takes one or two minutes time. Okay, meanwhile, I go to my website, awsmethic.com, and I'm going to search for the commands that is required to install Node.js. So here it is, how to install Node.js on Amazon Linux 2. First, to install NVM using curl. So let's copy this. It's initializing. Let's wait one minute more. Okay, while it is loading, let's go to the documentation of Nest.js and we are going to just have the commands to install and run it properly. Also, we need to install Nginx because we need to set up an SSL. So let's go to AWS with a tick and then search for Nginx. Uh, okay. okay, so here are the comments for installing engineers. I'll just copy this. So let's copy this command. I'm going to uh, click the connect button here. Then click the connect here. So I am in the uh, terminal now. So let's go to root privilege so do SU. and I'm going to switch to EC2 user. Go to the home directory. So 
that's clear. Let me make the screen a bit bigger so that you can see it easily. Okay. So now I'm going to paste this command. Sudo yam update minus y. This will update the yam packages. Now let's install nginx. Clear the screen. Paste the command for nginx. The command is sudo amazon linux extra install nginx1. This will install the nginx1 for you. Yes. Okay. So that's installed. Now we need to uh, start the nginx. So this is to start nginx. And enable nginx so that if you restart your server, you should be able to see that Nginx is up and running. Okay, our Nginx part is done. Now I'm going to go for the node. So just copy this line and paste it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this uh, .sh file from GitHub and then I will run it. So what it will do, it will install NVM, Node Version Manager. Node Version Manager is a version control system where you can install multiple node versions in your platform, in your system, in your operating system. So for example, if you have uh, some applications that are running on Node 12 or Node 14, then you can run it over there. So after running this command, I will copy this line and paste it here as well. Let's check if the node has been installed, NVM installed properly. Yes, the installation went well. Now I'm going to install uh, node 14. In this example, I have seen 11, but I'm going to install node 14. So the command will be nvm install 1.4. So this will install the node version 14. And this is now your default version. So now type node minus v, then you will get that node 14.19.0 is installed here. So let's clear the screen. So far, we have created EC2 instance, we have installed Node.js, we have installed Nginx. Now we need to install Nest.js. So to install Nest.js, I, I am to the docs of Nest.js where the commands are given. So just copy this command, npm i minus g Nest.js CLI. So here using npm, I'm going to install nest.js CLI and minus G or dash G represents that it's a global. That means it's not local, but it's a global uh, installation. And you can call, uh, you can use nest.js in your, as a command. I'm going to show you in next example. Now you see, you can now use nest new, I will give you a project name. AWS update. We see as we have installed nest as a global, so I can now use nest command into my terminal, nest new AWS thick. It will ask me to choose what is the package manager. I'm going to use NPM because um, NPM and we are mostly same. So let's for easiness use NPM. This might take one or two minutes time. So let's be patient. Meanwhile, it is installing. I'm going to go to my website, www.vedatic.com. And I need to search for Nginx config file. So 
so I'm going to create a uh, Nginx config file or Nginx server block to create virtual host. This is the one. So um, let's copy this command. Okay, the installation is done. Let's clear the screen. LS. Okay. Now what we'll do is paste it here. So do the it is in Gnox property. Then I'm going to give the name wsapit.conf. Then I'm going to uh, copy this command. I will change the server name here. So what will I will do is I will call it nest. Dot AWS with .com, Listen port eight zero location. All those things you can keep as it is. Proxy pass HTTP one twenty seven three thousand. This line is important because my application I'm going to use. Uh, the next JS application that I'm going to run, it will start with port 3000. But if you want to use a different port, you need to change your Nginx configuration. So this is important so that you don't forget to uh, change this port. But for me, it's it's same because I'm going to use uh, port 3000. So let's copy this. Paste it here. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go to my Cloudflare account. And from the Cloudflare account, I'm going to uh, create a subdomain. Add a record. So it's a record. I'm going to use nest. I'm going to copy the IP address. Here is the IP. I'll not use proxy at this moment. So let's keep it as either proxy or save. So I have created the subdomain. Now um, I need to start the application. So let's go to folder where we have the nested applications. So here, first I'm going to run npm install. This will install all the necessary packages, not modules that is required. If it's not installed, Probably it's all installed, so it's very fast. That's good. Now, then I I can run it with npm uh, start. So this will start the next application in port 3000. And if I now try to visit nest. Um, I will probably see a message I can the next okay I just need to just a moment I just need to restart the uh, Nginx server because I have made some changes on the virtual host configuration so I need to restart Nginx and once the Nginx is restarted then now I can uh, start my nest.js application My application is up and running. If I now refresh it, I probably will see hello world. So this is this is the Nest.js hello world that's uh, returning from. So, um, but still, there is an issue. The issue is if I close this terminal, then uh, this will probably stop working or this will not run in the background. 
what we have to do is we need to use a tool called PM2, which will uh, help us to uh, run this application in a background. So uh, let's go to sudo su, su is to user, then go to the root directory, go to the address, go to the folder directory. Okay, here it is. We are going to uh, now you're going to install uh, npm install global pm2 so i'm going to install pm2 as a global service pm2 is installed so we will run this uh, command as a global service via pm2 so if you don't have any experience with pm2 pm2 start npm just make it search then uh, you will give you will get all the options how to start a pm2 service the process is uh, quite simple um, so we have to start pm2 start some options you can pass to the cli okay i'm pm2 start this is the command Okay, here we haven't found the npm start, but let's search for pm2 start npm start name. Okay, I paste it here. So okay. So you see, it's uh, running as a now background, and um, if we refresh it, it will be same, still same. But then it is running on a background, and we can stop it, restart it via pm2 so pm2 is a very good service let me restart it clear the screen so we are almost done one thing we don't have ssl yet so it's not secure let's do ssl so for ssl we have nginx and let's encrypt this is very good for ssl so let's do that um so here I have, we just have to search let's encrypt. And I, we have created a lot of articles on let's encrypt. So there it is, nginx and let's encrypt. I copy this command, this is for let's encrypt, paste it here. Then uh, I'm going to enable the APEL. Then I'm going to uh, install the SART board for NGMX.
it is installing server sometimes it takes some time so let's be patient after we have installed the chatbot, we will run this command. So the chatbot engine X. Okay, the process is done. Let's clear my screen. Paste the command sudo chatbot engine X. It will ask your email address. After that, I'm just going to say yes, yes, yes. And then which names would you like to have activate HTTPS for? I'm going to use one, number one. And then it will try to set up SSL certificate. Okay, that's it. The certificate setup is done. Now if I refresh, I will see a lock lock icon. That's good. Connection is secured. Certificate is valid. It's issued on 28th Feb and valid till 29th of May. So far, so good. So what you have learned today? So we have learned how to install Node on EC2, how to install Nest.js, how to set up Nginx, how to configure Nginx with Nest.js, and also install SSL certificate for your next year's applications. If there is helpful, please subscribe to my channel. That it will help me to create more videos like this and I will be very happy to help you if you have any issues. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day, bye bye.